Hello, this is Bilal Kayser. Welcome back to Cure for Conflict. Today, Apartheid, Ultimate Racism. How did Apartheid begin? Even before Apartheid, racism and segregation was always a part of South African society. However, after the general elections of 1948, the Afrikaner National Party made institutionalized racism a reality. It took only two years to ban interracial marriage and even split interracial families. Everyone was categorized by the Population Registration Act of 1950. Everyone fell into a category, white, black, and colored. As you may expect, people didn't take this sitting down. From peaceful protests to more violent riots, one such event occurred on August 9, 1956, when the Women's Federation of South Africa marched on the buildings in Pretoria to protest past laws. This resulted in the arrest of 156 Congress Alliance leaders, 104 Africans, 23 white, 21 Indian, and 8 colored, for plotting to violently overthrow the government. By 1961, most opposition leaders were either executed or imprisoned. It appeared that no one could stop the government. Eventually, all the protests drew foreign attention. In 1973, the United Nations General Assembly officially denounced apartheid. The Population Registration Act was repealed in 1989. In 1994, a new government and constitution took hold in South Africa, officially ending apartheid. However, the scars of apartheid have still not fully healed. In 2011, the Bureau of Investigative Journalism conducted an investigation on PR firm Bell Pottinger's role in a racial smear campaign against South African business owners. The campaign was orchestrated by Oak Bay in order to prey on the building racial tensions in South Africa, which was used by the Gupta family, the owners of Oak Bay, to keep South African President Jacob Zumba and the ANC in power. Thanks for watching Cure for Conflict. Be sure to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And smash that like button, fam squad.